I did so well with the cut DC blue test. The first cut ball I've ever ever reviewed. First and only. Decided why not test out another cut golf ball. So today, today I'm gonna test out this cut gray ball. It's even less expensive than the cut DC blue. And it says a tour ball, tour quality ball at an affordable price. So this is playing 200 yards and firm, 190 to the pin. And uh, just hit a five hybrid, left it out right, maybe short. Play a couple holes. Let's see how this ball feels. Five holes to go. Just play 13. Need to palm my way in. With. Gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. I must admit something. I was working on hitting some shots on the sky track with my uh with my four hybrid. And I left it in the garage. So normally from 190, I would have probably hit a four hybrid here. Instead I hit the five and didn't think I could get there, but the ground is kind of firm and uh, I'm actually past pin high so it's one point for the cut gray Thought I had one, guys. Uh, this ball feels good. I'm telling you, so far, cut is really making me a believer. That that DC blue ball was really played really well. Um, numbers were good. Durability was was an issue, but I really don't test for durability a lot. Let's play one more hole with this ball. See what we get. It's 377 uphill. That ball felt really good. All right, guys, I got to admit, this one is slightly disappointing. I'm 145 yards out from a red pin, and I hit that drive really good. I thought I was gonna be a lot further than this. It's gonna be interesting to see if the if the hybrids or the mid irons play differently than, than the driver, because that drive was pretty short, and I hit it really good. So 145. I'm gonna hit an eight iron and uh, see what happens. Kids, I hit that one pretty good. Just the question is, you know, what's the distance like? Did it hit it right at the hole? I'm not really certain. Felt like it should be long enough. Let's see. Okay, I'm not really sure where this ball landed. Yeah, it looks like it's, I don't know, six yards short of the hole. Um, I don't know, maybe this cut gray is not flying as far as it should be, but let's finish this hole. It's a tricky pin. <laughs>
okay guys we definitely can't blame that double on this golf ball we're gonna go inside do some testing and uh, it won't include putting on severely sloped back to front greens that's a tough pin with the 54 degree wedge from 50 yards the cut gray launched about a degree higher had 500 rpms less spin so this ball will not hold as well as a pro v1 on short wedge shots and by extension chips and pitches around the green with the seven iron the ball speed was about a mile per hour slower with the cut gray had 400 rpms less spin launched slightly higher but even with that with less spin the gray rolled out an extra yard even though both carried at 152 yards with the driver the ball speed was the same the cut launched about 0.7 degrees lower spin was less than a hundred rpms different between these two balls so these balls were very comparable with the driver at my swing speed the 80 compression of the gray wasn't at all the detriment that it would be for a high swing speed player now one thing i will say guys is that you know before i tested the dc blue that was probably a year ago and that ball cut up pretty easily i don't know if it's an anomaly or i need to need to maybe test out those balls again if they made changes to the covers but this cut uh, this cut gray ball these two balls here I beat them up pretty well they still look pretty good I didn't have any cuts on them or anything I hit them into the, the simulator I hit them outside and uh, they still look look pretty good hey guys if you want to see a video on a four piece premium ball for half the cost of a Pro V1 click the video above if you like the video like comment subscribe until next time Mr. Shore Hitter, out. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back in this.